Well, hello, crew, and welcome back to Space Station 13. Tonight, we're gonna actually be on the NSS Destiny. Uh, Goon Station has set up a map selector since, um, I think the last time I recorded, I think it's been added. And you can vote every round on a handful of the various maps through over the years. Hopefully more get added over time. And I think we're going to be a mechanic. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the mechanic role, maybe teach you a few things. I don't exactly know where the uh, mechanic area is on Destiny. I don't much care for this map. There's engineering. I really like Clarion. Clarion. However you want to pronounce it. That might actually be my favorite map. Uh, the COG maps, of course, always... Always wonderful. Mining. Teleporter. I think I need to chug some more tea. What do we got? Mechanics. There we go. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do as a mechanics. Uh, as a mechanic, you can scan various vending machines and make them uh, fire alarms. I'm pretty sure you can make. Um, first, though, let me get all my stuff together here. Admins are playing some very quiet music. We've got a, sp a prized space bee egg that we start with. Uh, the one of the most well uh, a mechanic doesn't need an electrical toolbox really all you need is the multi-tool and something that looks like we don't actually start with ever even though it is the most useful tool by far is the wrench the wrench allows you to lock down all of the components that we're going to be using I'm not really going to be making any vending machines um, I might make a few uh, party buttons, <laughs> that will be about it. We're going to keep our space egg in there. Let's see. So, what do we want to do? The Ruckinger kit, not anything to mess with yet. Uh, I do need the device analyzer. Probably the only other important piece of tool kit for the mechanic. So I'm going to scan the mech comp dispenser early on. First thing first. We've only got one of them. I prefer starting with two. Once you've scanned it into the device analyzer, click on the Wreckinger kit with it and it will uh, scan in a blueprint. Plint, print the blueprint. Only takes a couple seconds. And take the blueprint put it in the reverse engineering fabricator and voila you can now make these items out of uh, the basic materials that you can go raid and steal from just about any manufacturer on the station I want a mechanical dispenser now if you're gonna be making vending machines and things like this you need two things one the device analyzer so you can analyze the devices you're going to be reverse engineering and two provided I can find it is the soldering iron it is the only way to deploy these dispenser frames that the reverse engineering fabricator spits out so we'll take this you can either deploy it in hand or drop it and deploy it it doesn't matter, it gets deployed on whichever tile you or it are on. Uh, you can also do this deviously if you want to block paths and stuff. That is always an option. Also, uh, I'm going to be keeping one amp open here so you guys can see the name of the song and stuff that I am playing. Just in case you can't find it in my uh, musical credits playlist because I get asked about every video what songs there are and there they there they are you can see them yourself if you can't find them then YouTube doesn't have them but now, now that we've got the the basics out of the way there we're gonna set up just a very very simple teleporter system so we want two teleporter pads one two unfortunately it's hard for me to show you guys really good layouts for these things because 
We're on Destiny. I don't know this shit very well. On Cogwa on Cog Maps, it's beneficial to set up a teleporter between, say, Escape and the Bar. Because those are two opposite sides of the station, so people can easily teleport back and forth between them. So, uh, in my rambling, we want two teleporter pads, two pressure sensors, and I like to take some LED lights. Just to spruce up the teleport pads a little bit, and I'll show you why. In fact, let's um, take it a step further and take two delay components as well. Uh, we'll have to throw those in the little box there. There's a lot of components in here. You should read up on the wiki once you understand the basics. And you can devise your own little systems. Uh, I'm still learning a whole lot about that, so I can't show you very much uh, in-depth stuff. Uh, as far as that goes. So we need to find two areas to link up with teleporters. Generally, I would link up, like I said, the bar or the bar and escape, or med bay and escape. So this looks like this is the med bay lobby. You got sleepers up there. There's no real perfect area here, unfortunately, inside the lobby to build uh, the system that we want. Maybe right here, actually. I generally dislike building auto teleporters in front of doors. <coughs> Like, in front of a, a, a heavy traffic pathway. Because people will just blindly run into them. So actually, this is probably the best location here. We'll drop the teleporter pad. Drop the pressure sensor. Step to the side and drop the LED. Once those are dropped, just take the wrench. And what you do is you activate them to the ground right there. You sink them in, and that makes it so that... Um, nobody can pull them away or anything like that. I'm going to take this delay component and kind of line it up where it looks nice. Physical location does not matter at all. I just prefer to have all of my contraptions kind of laid out in a, a specific uh, order. Yeah, layout does not matter at all. Uh, so what we want is the multi-tool. And that is how we connect all of these together into a functioning system. So you'll click and hold from the pressure sensor down to the teleporter component. It'll give you two options, trigger or receiver. We're just going to worry about trigger for now. Stepping on the pressure sensor triggers the teleporter component to activate. So now anytime somebody steps on this tile, it'll activate and voila. Uh, they'll be teleported to the next system that we set up. We're also going to click and hold from the pressure sensor to the LED. We're going to set it to trigger, and we are going to deactivate the LED. As of now, it's not yet been activated, but we're going to presume that it will be because we're going to drag from the pressure sensor again to the delay. We're going to make it trigger. The only thing we can do is make a delay, because it's a delay one. And then we're going to drag from the delay to the LED. And we're going to make it activate. And you will see why we do it that way um, very soon. So there, we, there we've got that first one set up. What we need to find now is some place to set up the other end of that teleporting system. What would be another useful area? For the crew to go from med bay to where? Pod bay? No, not really. To escape, maybe? I don't think that's that useful. I mean, how often are they going to have to go between there? This end of the ship isn't really used that much. We've got the captain's office, a whole bunch of other head areas, crew quarters, everybody can have their own personal bedroom there. Um, I'd say the bar too, but that is still pretty close, I think. I think we'll do it anyways, we'll take it from here, and maybe we'll put the teleporter up here on stage. We're just designing it today, it's not an incredibly useful system. 
Uh, NSS Destiny is fairly small and straightforward to explore. But to set up the next uh, teleporter, we're going to do the same thing. Take the teleporter pad, drop it. The pressure pad, drop it. Step off to the side with the LED. And we'll throw the delay in the middle there too. I haven't been following chat all this time. I don't know what the hell is going on. Generally, I try to stay up to date with that, but it's somewhat difficult when recording. So we'll do the same thing. Wrench them all down, take the multi-tool, take the pressure sensor to the trigger. Or to the uh, teleporter component and make sure it triggers. Make sure it activates it. And we'll take the LED, trigger it, deactivate it, and then to the delay component, trigger delay. And then delay to the LED. It might seem confusing it's because A, I'm pretty horrible at explaining things, and B, it'll just be easier when you do it. Uh, the only other change I want to make here is set delay. If you right click on the delay component when you're next to it with a multi tool, you can enter this uh, delay. For the LEDs on this system, I prefer 35. And I'll show you why. Change this one to 35. And there we go. That's our first little teleporter system. It does become a little bit more complicated whenever you want to make an entire roundabout system with one teleporter that leads to another that leads to another and you've got button systems set up. Um, I suggest figuring those out on your own or asking other mechanics that you work with how to set it up. It involves changing things such as uh, the send signals and I think I I want to say something else, but it might be a little bit more straightforward than that with buttons. I just don't ever make any of them uh, that complicated. So I also want to change the LED color. If you right click on the LED light, you can change the color on it to red. So we want a one with the red, zero, zero. And... So it, the teleporter is used, the LED goes off, and then as soon as the teleporter can be used again, the LED comes back on telling you that it is go. It's clear. Should probably make it green. Just because people probably associate red with stop. That would make a little bit more sense. Let's do the same to this one. Just just for con oh, I did not want to disconnect it, but whatever. Just for consistency's sake. We'll make it green. I don't think I need to reconnect to the delay there. You can set up you can make really complicated um, relay systems with this. So let's see. Zero one zero. Not an incredibly useful teleporter system, but again, it's destiny. I wasn't really expecting this to be the map that we were going to suffer on. You can spell out things with the LED lights if your hallway is big enough, and if you've got enough LED lights. Uh, I think the next thing I want to do, I've got the device analyzer. Let's go copy the party button. And I'll show you guys how to reverse engineer actual items on the station. I need just a few, to uh, a few tools, though. Probably going to have to break into an area. I'm not going to ask like, permission from the chef or anything. I feel like that is a waste. Whenever I want to get back there. I haven't even seen anybody active in the bar yet either. So, this is our target. The party button. Krimpus is playing Russian roulette with himself. There's no surprise. Who's that? Rocco Berry. Who is this? Judas. Uh, Judas, let me copy the party button. 
We're gonna make this place a fucking party. A party ship. So, we've copied that now. So it'll, it'll tell you if the scan is successful and if it's not. If it's not, you either can't do it or you uh, need a syndicate device analyzer for being a trader. Also, you can scan doors and make copies of them. Say you want to steal off part of the hallway and make it just uh, accessible by an airlock. <coughs> Which I would really suggest doing if you're, if you're, well, maybe if you're just bored on like the Destiny or on Donut 2 where one little hall breach can depressurize the entire ship. So you, you end up building choke points with the walls and airlocks that should have been designed in the first place with safety in mind, but fucking Nano Tracen obviously doesn't give two shits about our safety on this ship. Uh, before I started hating corporate and see, we were going to make the party button. We scanned it with the device analyzer, bringing it back to your workshop, and click on the Ruckinger kit. We'll transfer the information you have scanned. It's crazy how that works, isn't it? And uh, you can see we can make the party button blueprint or the airlock blueprint. I don't care about the airlock blueprint. If it was like 3 o'clock in the morning and I thought the round was going to last for a long time, I would possibly do that out by medbay. Just so that they don't run out of air. And uh, the party button. We're going to turn repeat on. And we're going to hit that party button. We're going to make party buttons everywhere. Yes. I'm going to load this backpack up with party buttons. <sighs> there are a lot of things you can do with mechanics, folks. I would suggest reading Mechanical Mechanic Components and You, the book, that you can get from any mech comp dispenser. I would also suggest reading the wiki. Very useful. I'm not going to show you guys all of the tricks that I know because, quite frankly, I don't want you to run them into the ground. Feel free to get creative with your own tricks. So, we are out of mullets. Uh, if this video lasts long enough, I'll also show you guys about the Graviton accelerators. Basically, wrench them down, set them up to a pressure plate, and whee! Away you go. To anything that steps on there. Needless to say, I shouldn't have to tell you how interesting and devastating force throw pads can uh, end up being. So... The thing with the party button is you really cannot just install it anywhere. I promise you that. You can, but don't. You, you need if you're gonna install a party button you've got to have a certain decorum about it a little bit of flair a little bit of taste a little bit of flavor and I actually need something there's a skateboard tempting we could set up a skate park what is this a ghost catcher really interesting I hate drones, generally, especially ghost drones. They are almost universally the absolute worst players on any ship. Uh, let's see. If I can't find what I'm looking for, then we will just we'll steal it from somewhere. What I want is a stack of metal from uh, a utility room or something, but I don't think... I don't think this ship has a whole lot of utilities, utility rooms, or loose resources. Go away, Borg. So tell me, is that one piece or two pieces? Ah, just one. I need at least two. And honestly, who needs these little side benches? Why'd I put that away? So we're going to install this first one in med bay. We'll stack these two pieces of metal together. That was a whole lot of work just to get two pieces of metal. But I believe in if doing a job, if you're going to do it, don't do it just... Do it. Don't do it sloppy. Could have stole one of those tables too. 
So I think we will add the party button right here. It's not really in the way of any entrances or exits or a natural flow of traffic. It does, it will block this uh, disposal unit, but who cares? It's a trash unit. Should be a little bit discreet in med bay anyways, right? I slip on the water. Wonderful. So we'll put the party button uh, frame right there and pull out our soldering iron. Just use it on the frame and voila, it instantly turns into whatever you scanned. Unfortunately, that is just for this part of med bay. Which is kind of disappointing, but areas are split up like that um, for other gameplay reasons. Judas Iscariot. Huh. <coughs> Every round you survive, you must take a shot. Easy enough. Okay. We gotta take a shot now. Come on, old man. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't realize it was Bojax that we were taking shots of. Look, folks. If you see a Russian revolver and a man sitting at a table with whiskey and you don't step up to play the game, what type of fucking spaceman are you? You were a good spaceman. I'll take both in your name. <laughs> I'll try to take both. <laughs> well, Bojax is nothing to mess around with, folks. Invented years ago by one of the best bar whiskey men of all time. Thankfully, I didn't spill a drop of that last shot. So. There we go. We've got a mission to do. We got um, a couple more party buttons to install. I'm not entirely sure what uh, what else. I don't know. We'll probably, I guess before I end the video, because I don't know if we'll go all the way to escape. Like, I kind of want to just do some of these videos to show you guys some of the basics of the classes that I know. But, uh, I'll definitely try and show you... Oh, shit, I can't even remember it. Gravitrons. After this. I need to install, at the bare minimum, all of these that we've printed out. It would be a dra drastic waste of resources if we didn't. That party button installed there is quite a large one. All the way up through the halls? Wow. Wasn't expecting it to go that far. Not entirely sure what somebody is doing there, but okay. We'll definitely install a party button there. Is being chased by who? The captain could possibly have been chasing someone, or perhaps they were just playing tag. I don't know. I haven't heard any violence on this station thus far. Hit that party button. Really? What's my name? Cole Kelly. I honestly didn't know since I have a random name every round. Okay, I'm 
curious. I do have insulated gloves. I could... I could probably... Hack my way through here before, uh... Orange wire mend. Before I pass out from alcohol poisoning. Let's mend that. Get back up there, spaceman. Pause. Pause. Test light is off. Unfortunately, I think that was the green wire. I can't get through. I'm too drunk for this, unfortunately. Quit fucking bouncing around. How am I supposed to pulse things if I can't even click on it? Test light is off. I think the fucking skater in there keeps hitting the door too. We hear a click. Which honestly doesn't help me. The AI control light is off. No. I was waiting. I was waiting to hit one that would pop the bolts up, but so far that hasn't happened. Ghost skater just vanished. He's gone. Where could he have possibly went? I think it was actually I think it was actually a cyborg that was skating. Which is kinda confusing because I didn't know that cyborgs could skate. Hiding in one of these rooms where we got the head of security for him. Hello, drone. Piece of robotic shit. If you don't know, folks, I absolutely hate drones. I hate cyborgs. I hate drones. I don't want to say I hate the people that play them because I don't. I just hate them in game. Severely. I hate cyborgs. Robotic metal pieces of garbage. They can definitely be good. And Lord knows I've been saved by enough uh, medical borgs over the years. So yeah, the Alry definitely has to be a party room. If you don't give that room a party button, you probably have no soul. Pod bay, nobody cares, nobody uses that. What is this? I think that might have been the utility tool storage that I was looking for earlier. Hmm. <coughs> that is the bridge in the middle of the ship. Very strange place for it. But, uh... There you go. Yo, Botany, let me in for a second. I have a gift. Who is that? Bobcat Johnson. I'm too drunk to even do a flip. Jude Stainforth is the captain. I don't trust him. One way or another, we're getting a party button in there. What do we got? Let's 
Just gonna see if I can weld through one of those walls over there. Okay. Can't go through here. Detective Abraham Lincoln. I'll take his hat. He does have a more fitting hat for himself, so we're gonna just hack through this door then. And go install a party button. Orange wire mend. Why is that one cut? On this one as well. Okay, the yellow one is bad, I'm pretty sure. Aha! The black wire is for bolts. I'm just looking for the test light wire. I don't care about the AI control. The blue wire. Okay. If the blue wire is... Like, if you hit that and the test light goes off, you can crowbar in. Which allows you access to just about anywhere. Which is obviously very, very useful. Here, we're going to point at the party button. Just so they can see it. And then we're going to initiate that party button. They're free to turn it off if they want, but... But they've got it now. There's not, not a damn thing they can do about removing it. Again, they, they can choose not to use it, though. The question is, where do we want to put this last one at? Boxing ring, not really. The pool, maybe. Changing room door? You know this place had a changing room? Apparently it's also got a laundry room with laundry machines and everything. Fancy? Oh, fancy. What are you doing, you freaking... Space dog? We do a flip into the space dog. God damn it, Abraham Lincoln. I need to get out of this door before it crushes me. Scratch that belly. I'm not playing with no space dogs. As far as I know, we really shouldn't have any space dogs on this ship, so there's no telling what type of cooties it's got. How about... How about we hack our way onto the bridge and install one last party button there? Damn it. You gotta be joking me. I flipped and flopped and flapped my screwdriver somewhere. Insufficient usable materials. Well, isn't that a bitch? What are people stealing all the materials for at this point? It couldn't possibly be for more party buttons. If I was a flip flopper, where would I have flip flapped? Uh, there we go. It would have been flopped right between, right there. Also, that was Cherry Fields who was just on the bridge. So, with them out of the way. Blue wire, pulse it, lights go off, crowbar comes out. And in we go. I suggest leaving it pried open like that with the screwdriver too, by the way. What is that? Wily Ring? Willy Ring? The research Director? 
There goes the captain. Great, a bunch of heads have come on by. Let's put that party button down. I have a feeling I should try to hide it, but I don't think it's going to work. Paper bin, what if we move you to the top? There we go. It's a little bit better. Don't throw the glass, as tempting as it might be. Okay. A free hamburger. One pristine buffomatic, three thousand for ten credits. It's one heck of a deal. Curious who exploded. John Johnson's left leg. Got access implants. I mean, I'm curious. I think that gives me access to security stuff. Got the AI core in there. And we need to just get out of here. Party buttons are good enough. We'll pulse the blue wire again, folks. Just in case you forgot. And I should really keep all my tools on the tool belt. I'm surprised I didn't get tased as that door opened up. Do you not like to party? I scream it into the microphone. Party buttons are most people's best friend. And at the very least, I've only done uh, little side areas. Now, if I decide to do all of the main hallways and everything else, then I could definitely see getting tired of it. They hurt the shit out of your eyes. Probably have epilepsy. If I had to guess. <laughs> Skateboards are really easy to kill yourself on. Please <laughs> refrain from pressing the party button. If in fact you do not know how it works. <laughs> they give me epilepsy syndromes. God damn it. Are people that weak? My eyes. They're making my brain try to kill me. Uh, the thing with skateboards is, by the way, you cannot hit walls or glass. And whichever way the skateboard was going whenever you got knocked off is where it will continue to go. I'm gonna eat a stink ass moldy cheeseburger. Which means it can actually be really hard to hop back on a skateboard. You can you can uh, do tricks off of doors. And off of tables and vending machines. Bit of walls, people, windows. Uh, those will all ruin your day really quick. I assure you. And, the thing is, the higher you get your boost meter there, which you can see in blue, the better. It means more tricks, faster boosts, 
probably more likely to kill yourself this way. Or at the very least, fly through a window. Into the wall. Something like that. I'm curious. Okay, so we, we're leaving a the skateboard there for a second. I want to see something. Uh, I'm really fucking wounded. You thought you could cover up the party button? I don't think so. Why are people shaking? To be honest, in this round, I don't, I don't care why people are shaking. I don't care why somebody's hurt. I don't care if there's a changeling. I don't care if they all got some type of horrible poison. Uh, what I do care about is whether or not... So I can bounce off this, bounce off this. I need one, two... Just stay with me, folks. Remember, two. After this, it'll be one. And I think... What is this? Crew lounge? I think I can get it from there. So, place that one there. Place that right there. I just need one more. might not be as yeah so I think that these count as well fuel tanks water tanks foam tanks compost tanks if you don't know what I'm doing yet I'm building a little skate sanctuary a skate park basically there's no walls that I can hit from here there's no way for me to be knocked off and be thrown to my doom, thankfully. Yeah, I don't need the tool belt. Put that in there. We'll prime this egg and let it drop to the ground. And we're just gonna skate, folks. Ah, you go, Corgi. We have a terrorist that is utilizing a syringe gun to shoot Saren at you. Now, I'll let you know, if you do decide to become a skate god, you should really go to filter messages and remove the check mark from miscellaneous. That way you don't see all that shit, and you can still uh, read chat. Interesting. Uh, someone just firebombed the bar. Supposed to be a sanctuary, man. It's supposed to be where men can drink whiskey and blow their brains out with revolvers. Apparently, there's a produce thief, too. We reach Skate Nirvana as some guy up there falls over, probably dying from his burns. Wonderful. The thing is, if you haven't figured it out yet, all of this skateboarding at this point has been hands off, automatic. Nobody can realistically skate this fast. It's got to come from within. It's like the forest, you just have to channel it. Get real gnarly. And sink down into it.
We'll see if the corgi will come free me from my skateboard hell. And we're gone. Fuck. I tried to hang on to it as long as I could there. Sometimes whenever you hit this uh, light speed, you can actually control where you're going a little bit. I do suggest if you're going to skateboard this hard, that you actually suit up for it. Get some externals on, possibly a spacesuit. You don't really need a jetpack, as you can see. Since, um, yeah. What's a jetpack gonna do for you here? Anyways, folks, this is it. This has been mechanics. I might show you guys a little bit more mechanics at some point in the future. But everything stems from what I just showed you already. Uh, hit the wiki up, talk to your other fellow mechanics, and set things up together with each other. Or just learn on your own. Uh, just remember, don't kill people. Don't set up death traps unless you're a traitor. Ignorance isn't always uh, an excuse that you want to try and go with. Ignorance of the law will not always save you. We're going to hop off here real quick. I don't know where we are, but... Come on, skateboard. I'm going to go on an adventure in this place. Fucking undead guards. Oh, shit. Oh, there's zombies! I should have known! Fuck you, zombies. Holy crap, they actually ate me on my board. So yeah, this is uh, one of the spaces in the asteroid field. Pretty spooky place to explore, and who knows what you might find. I do suggest coming very well armed, by the way. <laughs> 